Hello, I'm Mark, and this is The Country Life with Columbus Mark, where I try to give you a lighthearted look at life in the country. And today, it's Groundhog Day, and so I went out into the community to ask a few people about their favorite Groundhog Day tradition. My favorite Groundhog tradition is to watch it on TV. <laughs> I don't know. So growing up in a one-room country schoolhouse, we, for recess, would go around and take all the extra water, and we would dump it down the gopher holes and flush out the gophers and chase them around the... With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat. we chase them <laughs> around the playground. So when Puxatina Field came out, we just pretended that they were groundhogs instead of gophers. Uh, let's see, we like to have the groundhog show his shadow because we want winter. We want six more weeks of winter, right? <laughs> we love Groundhog's Day because we love winter. <laughs> Last year, my granddaughter in Indiana wanted to do something for Groundhog Day. So we found this on Pinterest and decided to make these cupcakes. They are adorable, except that this is how they turned out. <laughs> Kind of one of those Pinterest fails, I think, but we had an absolute blast doing it online, and maybe I'll have to do that again today. Pretending to be a groundhog in the pool. We make little cupcakes, and be ready, and we would uh, make this marshmallow groundhog, pop them up, <laughs> and the kids would, would enjoy it. So what's your favorite Groundhog Day tradition? So every year, me and my family, this is probably something a lot of people do, we watch Groundhog Day, the movie, with Bill Murray, and we always keep up with uh, Phil up in Philadelphia and see what's going on up there. My favorite tradition on Groundhog Day is to get my pet groundhog out, Philip, and see if he sees his shadow or not. He often disagrees with Puxatani Phil. I remember as a child, and this is a city that I won't mention, but we used to go to groundhog races down at the track. It was a little sideshow to where the greyhounds ran. And I was a toddler back then, and I always wondered why they did this on Groundhog's Day. Maybe I'll go back there one day and watch it again. Well, here at Trade Street Creamery on Groundhog Day, we make a Reuben, especially for Chuckles, the groundhog. And we also make this delicious groundhog stew. It's the only place here in town that you can get it. I always attend the annual Groundhog Day gathering way out in the country. And I also watch Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. <laughs> okay, so the groundhog tradition that I like is seeing all the memes online about the Groundhog Movie Day come out for Groundhog Day. Well, you know how the groundhog likes to come out every morning or on. Groundhog's Day to see a shadow. Um, my wife and I take this, make this day um, a day that we really look forward to. We uh, we put the kids in a closet all day long, and um, so we get a day to ourselves. So they're currently at home right now, locked in a closet. Well, it's Dee Dee from Watershed. How are things down there, Dee Dee? They're the same as they've been for the last two years, mostly. Is that good? It just is what it is. There ain't no fighting it, you know? Well, it's Groundhog Day. Anything special going on in Watershed? Well, I can't uh, speak for the rest of the town, but uh, me and the girls uh, have a tradition. Uh, every year, uh, they come over to my house the night before on February 1st. Uh, uh, they could come over on the 2nd, but I, I we get up so early in the morning, I don't want them uh, riding on the road in the dark in case there's some ice because this time of year there often is and that's just not a good combination in the dark on your bike anyway i uh i got a little whistle pig lives up in the front yard and uh so every year on february 2nd we we get up real early and we go sit around a hole uh i make a big batch of acorn pancakes and uh, applesauce uh leave some outside of the burrow for our little friend. And uh, when Hubert comes out, we Hubert. all kind of, yeah. I like that name. name, I like that name. Yeah, uh, when Hubert comes out, we all hold real still. See, is he gonna 
you know, be scared or not. Uh, this year, uh, he came out, he took a little nibble of pancake. Uh, one of the gals had a little sneezing fit and he zooped back down in the hole. So uh, not quite sure if that means more winter or not. I, I hope we're not going to get more winter. I'm not one of those people who loves the cold. Yeah. Uh, it, it's okay in little little fits and spurts, but I, I just don't want it another six weeks terrible like it's been. No. Well, I'm uh, I'm glad you you got to keep that tradition up. And so this would be the Wicked Women of Watershed, your motorcycle gang. Yeah. There we go. Like a nice, nice tradition out there in Watershed. Yeah. We we have a, a, a real peaceful morning and uh, we, we clean up the cast iron pan and, and put out the campfire and, and uh, go about our day uh, by, you know, eight o'clock or so we're we're back to business. But uh, it's a, a time of reverence for nature and uh, checking in with Hubert, see if he's made it through the winter okay. And uh, well, I hope he came back out and got the rest of his pancakes. Well, I left it out there for him. I know he loves applesauce because he's always up in my apple trees stealing the fruit. So. Uh, yeah. That's how we uh, came about adding the applesauce. Plus, it just makes those dry acorn pancakes go down a little bit better, you know? I bet. Well, thank you, Dee Dee. Glad we got to check in with you down there in Watershed. Well, y'all take it easy up there. You stay safe. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. And so there you have it. A few local traditions. If you have your own, put them in the comments below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, come back often. This is Mark, The Country Life. Welcome to my neighborhood, signing off. Happy Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day.